There are a number of forearm muscles located in the posterior compartment of the forearm, many originating from the lateral epicondyle of the humerus. As can be seen in these images of the cat and monkey, there are both superficial and deeper muscles in this compartment. In the forearm, the radius is the lateral bone, and on the lateral side of the forearm musculature, the extensor carpi radialis brevis, and adjacent to it, the radialis longus, these muscles originate on the lateral epicondyle of the humerus. They insert on metacarpals, and their actions are to extend the wrist and abduct the hand. The ulna is the medial forearm bone, and on the medial side of the posterior forearm musculature, the extensor carpi ulnaris originates at the lateral epicondyle of the humerus, uh, inserts onto the fifth metacarpal, and extends the wrist and adducts the hand. Between the extensor carpi radialis and ulnaris is the extensor digitorum muscle. It originates on the lateral epicondyle of the humerus. It inserts onto all of the phalanges of the fingers, and it extends the wrist and fingers. Deep to these extensor muscles are the extensor pollicis longus and brevis on the lateral side of the hand. Uh, which originate in the interosseous membrane between the radius and ulna, insert onto the phalanges of the thumb, where they extend the thumb, laterally rotate the thumb, and abduct the wrist. Deep to the wrist extensors is the supinator muscle, which originates on the lateral epicondyle of the humerus, inserts onto the lateral surface of the radius, and supinates the forearm. 